Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Silpar Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to insert record in Salesforce object. In this video, we will see how to update record in Salesforce object. Now see, here I have logged in in Salesforce developer org. I am opening developer console. We will open one object. So we are going to file, open resource. Here I am searching one object, college. Okay. So I am opening this object. We will see which records are there in that object. So see, I am selecting name, college ID and city. Query. So our query is ready. We will click on execute. Okay. So these records are there in our object, college underscore underscore C. Now see. Now what we will do? Our college name that is Vijay Ti, it has college ID 3009, right? What we will do? We will make it 3011 and that will do from our Apex program. So, see, we will open our anonymous window. Okay, and here we will write code. Now, see, for updating record, what we have to do? We have to first fetch record from the database and then we have to update it so see to fetch records from the database we have to write query in square brackets right now see here we will write query select now what we want to fetch what are the fields that we want that we will fetch so see name college underscore id underscore underscore c city underscore underscore c from which object we want so form or object name so object name is college underscore underscore c so that we will mention here college underscore underscore c right so see uh, this query will fetch all the records from this object right what we want we want only query where name is visit here because we want to change college id of that college right so college name is visit here and we want to change this college id so what we will do we will add one more thing where name is equal to and what is college name vjti vjti right so only this record will get fetched and from this record we will change college id right now see when we are mentioning any soql query in square bracket so it returns list right so whatever the output that we are getting we have to save in list now see we have to type cast it to our type so type is this right type is our object name object api name and we will create one list variable so suppose i am creating list variable records is equal to right okay so see here we have written query and this output will get fetched and will be saved in list variable records why we require list because whenever we are writing any soql query in square bracket it returns list of records right so we got this list now see after that what we have to do we have to write one for loop see so type will be this object api right so that i have copied here i have written that now see i am taking one variable record colon and see we want to fetch record from this list so that i am mentioning here now what we want so see from this from this query we will get records where there is a name is visit here right and what we want we want to change its college id right so here we will mention so see record this variable this record variable dot college underscore id underscore underscore c is equal to so we want to change college id to something else right so we will make it 3011 currently it is 3009 right currently it is 3009 we will make it 3011 now see so here we have mentioned that where name is vjti so we want to change college id to 3011 right now see this work we have done now see this is not sufficient one more thing that we require that we have to use keyword update and see what we want to update 
all the records which are faced here right so here we will mention records records not record records right this list of records so any name you can give this this is just variable right so any name you can give here i am using name record records right so any name you can use because these are variable name so see we are updating these records here i have mentioned now see we'll click on execute okay so no error we'll click on filter here we'll mention dml so here you can see how many dml statements are executed one how many rows are affected one right we'll check so see uh, previously vjti college id was 3009 right and we have run our query let us see so we'll refresh grid now see previously it was 3009 now it has changed to 3011 right now one more thing we'll do again we'll open our anonymous window see in previous video we have seen when we have to perform insert operation so at the time we have two options right we can use insert keyword or we can use insert method of database class right in the same way here we have used update keyword right we can also use database class and update method like this now see and here we can mention it. records like this see suppose i am commenting this and what we'll do 3011 right now we'll make it 3012 we'll execute this okay and we will refresh it so see previously it was 3011 right now we will refresh it so now it has become 3012 right so in this way we can change any values in our object see again i am opening anonymous window now what is the difference when we are using database class and this keyword update so see in previous video we have seen here partial success is not allowed partial success is not allowed but when we use a database class partial success can be allowed right partial success is allowed but when when we are passing one parameter false so when we are passing one parameter false along with this list variable so at the time partial success is allowed that is the difference between using keyword update and when we are using update method of database class we will see one more example so see here we have simple query right so only one record was faced now what we will do here you can see here we have colleges with the name wc1 wc2 wc3 likewise right and city name are like this so what we will do we will change this city name to sangli right so there are multiple records right so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have six records and uh, city name is wc only right what we want we want to change it to sangli so we will do it in previous example only one record was there but now we have six records right and we'll change the city from the six records so see again i am opening anonymous window now what we'll do here we'll change query so here here we'll mention we'll write where this name like so see in previous video we have seen what is the use of like right so there are multiple entries for name right wc1 wc2 wc3 where is the change only last character is getting changed right remaining thing is same so that's why we'll match it with pattern so see what we'll do like here we'll write pattern so see wce and after that it can be anything right so that's why we'll use this wildcard symbol percent now see so it will fetch all the records where name has wc in the beginning right okay so by this we will get all the records where name is starting from the wc and there we are changing city city to what sangli okay so see we are changing city to sangli right now see and after that we are calling update method from the database class or we can do this also right by using update keyword we can update all the records so that also we can do okay so we have written code now we will click on execute button 
Okay, we didn't get any error. Now see. So here you can see. Previously we have city WC 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 for these colleges, right? Now see, we will refresh it. So here you can see. For these colleges, we have changed city to Sangli, right? For these colleges, we have changed city to Sangli. Now, see in previous example, we have changed only one record, and in this example, we have changed multiple records, right? And it is possible by using list like this. So, in this way, we can update records in SQL objects. In next video, we will see how to delete and undelete records from Salesforce object. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.